Well, what is going on guys? It's Eagle Man here. Welcome back to another ComC sales video. Today I'm going to be going through the cards I'm selling on ComC from the year 2000 to 2009. So not really a popular era of collecting. You're going to see some pretty unique baseball cards that I'm going to be selling. Um, a lot of these cards, they, they value from around $1 to $2, but you'll see some higher end stuff. And again, some really unique cards. This should be a lot of fun to go through. If you guys haven't seen my first two videos where I was looking at the cards I'm selling from 1970, 1980, that was one video. Then all the cards from the 1990s that I'm selling, a lot of cool stuff in there. So please check it out. But let's go ahead and get started here with our first couple cards. These are all in, in order by year. So we got Mark McGuire opening day tops. Got Ovation, Ken Griffey Jr. That's such a cool card. This card has like 3D embossed to it. So they were just different. The cards were just different back then. I mean, uh, cards weren't super popular, and the market was really trying to appeal to a lot of different people, so they were trying all sorts of different things. Die cuts, embossed cards, parallels, all these fancy different things, different sets, high-end stuff, and a lot of it stuck. Like, we still see the patches and, and the autographs nowadays, but uh, things like the embossed stuff, we just don't see very much anymore. This card is pretty cool. It's not even listed on Com C as I'm making this video. It's a Barry Zito rookie from 2000 Fleer Glossy. It's numbered out of 1,000. Uh, Barry Zito was a pretty good pitcher. He had some pretty nasty pitches to his arsenal, but it's a cool card. It's a rookie. Uh, I got Cal Rickman Jr., Flair Ultra Base card. 2001 tops. We got a couple Edwin Encarnacion rookies. Of course, he's featured with another player, but here's his base tops card. And then we got a couple chrome variations of it as well. There's this chrome rookie card. And Encarnacion had a really good career. Uh, we got David Wright rookie from 2001 Upper Deck. I don't know if that's like a minor league or a stars card. I'm not too sure, but that's a cool one. Joe Maurer. I have so many Joe Maurer rookie cards in my collection. I just got to start getting rid of them. So here's a bunch of minor league picks or minor league uh, upper deck draft picks from 2001. Um, I can't tell you how many copies I have here. It's, it's a bunch though. So a bunch of Joe Maurer rookies, nothing super high end. Here's a Mark Pryor rookie, 2001 Fleer. Got a bunch of those as well. We're still in 2001. If we look here, we got a 2001 Bowman Jose Reyes rookie card. Got a Grady Sizemore Bowman Chrome rookie card. Grady Sizemore had a phenomenal, phenomenal. He was just a really, really good athlete. Uh, injuries plagued his career, unfortunately. He would have been a, he would have been the real deal. You look at some of his stats early on. He was pretty comparable to Mike Trout. I know a lot of people like to compare people to Mike Trout, and it's usually not the best comparison. But he really had some numbers that were Mike Trout level stuff. Um, until injuries kind of hurt him a lot. 2002, Topps Ichiro, it's his Rookie Cup card. So that's pretty cool. And then we are still in 2002, Topps. Features Ichiro and Alex Rodriguez on the same card. And then it's another same card. 2002, Topps Chrome, race to 73. Barry Bonds, that's a pretty cool card. Um, you don't see too many Chrome cards from the early 2000s, so that one's pretty unique. We got uh, Ichiro All World Team insert. This one is huge, very thick card stop to it. Uh, second year Ichiro is a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. in a Cincinnati Reds uniform. Hobby Masters again, a really thick insert. 2002 tops had some really thick inserts for some reason. 2002 tops total. I opened up a bunch of this on my channel. When my channel was kind of first starting, I opened up tons of 2002 tops total, box after box. So I have a, a lot of these cards. This set is huge. It's like 800, 900 cards. So. Uh, there's a Derek Jeter base card. There's a Jason Bay rookie card. A couple David Wright rookie cards. Here's a Chase Utley rookie. Uh, Derek Jeter tops total insert. Now we're on a 2002 Upper Deck Vintage. That's just a team checklist, but features Pujols, a second-year Pujols, and then Mark McGuire. So pretty cool right there. More Joe Maurer. Um, that's a 2002 Upper Deck on the fast track. I don't really know, but that was 2002 was his rookie year. Um... 2002 Fleer EX, open this on my channel. Ken Griffey Jr. This card is really, really condition sensitive. So I have a bunch of copies from this set, but a lot of them just aren't in good shape. 2003 Tops Base Ichiro. 2003 Tops Base Pujols. This one's in really rough shape. Opened up a lot of this on my channel as well. And we got David Ortiz, 2003 Tops. This one's on the Twins, so very, very young copy of uh, Big Poppy there. 2003 Opening Day, Barry Bonds, a couple of those. And then this one's kind of interesting. I don't see too many of this card floating around. It is part of the base set. 2004, 2003, Tops Bazooka. Bazooka Joe insert. And it's uh, the Red Sox variation, obviously. 
So kind of cool. I don't even know if it's listed on Comp C by the time I'm recording this, but it's kind of unique. Oh, and the game insert, Ichiro. Record breakers, Roger Clemens when he was on the Blue Jays. Got a couple Zach Greinke cards here. That's his pre-rookie, I believe. Bowman draft picks. Zach Greinke on his USA team uniform. Pretty cool. Uh, Bowman Chrome opened up a bunch of like four hobby boxes on my channel a while ago. So we got Shane Victorino here. We got a couple Willie Mays base cards. Uh, here's Roger Clemens on the Astros, 2004 tops base. Got a Ken Griffey Jr. robbing a home run, 2004 tops. This one's a really cool card. I always like this one. 2004 tops. Fan favorites, Ichiro and Pujols. That one's just really, really cool. Um, All time fan favorites set featuring Al K Lime. And then we got another 2004 Bazooka. It's going to be a Derek Jeter. It's the pop-up insert, so you can actually like pop it out like the old school ones, but I'm not going to deface the card like that. It's pretty cool, though. It's a Derek Jeter. So you see some like really unique cards that you probably haven't seen. I started collecting cards in 2005, so a lot of these cards are nostalgic and, and cool to me because this is what I collected. First started collecting as a kid, but a lot of people weren't collecting at that time, so they haven't really seen a lot of these cards. But there are some cool stuff. There's a Ricky Henderson uh, bronze border. It's like it's kind of like 3D. And then we got an Andre Ethier. This is from yeah the base dozen five tops. And then this is from the update set draft pick Jacoby Ellsbury, Ryan Zimmerman draft pick. Couple of those from also 2005 update. It's one of the first few cards in my collection. Kind of sad to get the him selling it, but it's Ken Griffey Jr. Um, his Father's Day 500th highlight commemoration card. 05 opening day, open a box of that on my channel. It's Ken Griffey, Ichiro, a couple of Bonds. There's a Miguel Cabrera in his Marlins uniform. 2005 playoff prestige, Justin Verlander. That's a cool one. That's a rookie card of his. I opened that up on my channel, and that was a lot of fun. I pulled a couple of rookie pieces. Um, definitely check out that video. That, there's some really good stuff pulled in those. Uh, there's a Nolan Ryan base card. Another Justin Verlander rookie. This is from 2006. As for they, they, they kind of messed up like the whole rookie cards during that era. So the classification of what is a rookie card was not defined until 2006. So this is technically his rookie card, but Verlander had a couple of rookies in 2005. Uh, Dusty Baker is just a, a gold parallel. 2006, I have a couple of those. 2006 tops update. A couple of Verlanders featured on there. Uh, a couple of Derek Jeters featured on there. 2006 tops Chrome chase to 715. That's when Bonds was making his historic chase in 2006. Um, that's just a Chrome uh, base card of his. And we're still going here. Here's a Cole Hamels rookie from 2006 Upper Deck. Adam Wainwright rookie, 2006 Upper Deck. Uh, a couple Fleer cards, 2006 Ken Griffey Jr. base, Derek Jeter base. Um, here's 2007 tops. There's tons of variations of this card. So this is um, Daisuke Matsuzaka. It's his rookie card. He's a pretty good pitcher. But this is the Japanese name variation with no signature. So it's 2007 tops. You can see this Barry Bonds card. Has a facsimile signature. This card does not. It's like one of the variations of it. Kind of silly, but um, kind of cool, I guess. There's a Barry Bonds base. This was his last tops base card. And it's got basically all of his stats in the back, which is pretty insane. That's a really, really cool card there of Bonds. Uh, here's a combo card, Jeter and A-Rod. Here's a couple Pujols cards from 2007 tops. Here's a Justin Verlander Rookie Cup card from 2007. Uh, got a couple Pujols from Topps Heritage 2007. Nothing too crazy. Here's a Tim Lincecum Rookie 2007 uh, SP Rookie Edition. That's just kind of cool. Tim Lincecum Rookie. Coming down to the end here, got a couple Joey Votto Prospect cards. This is from... 2007, this is like the Bowman draft picks and prospects. So a couple of these copies is pretty cool. Um, this one was really cool. I pulled this one on the channel. That's a, uh, this is a, a, a short print. You can see Rudy Giuliani celebrating in the back there. Um, just kind of a funny card of the Boston Red Sox. That's a really cool one. Uh, a couple of Joey Votto base rookies from 2008 tops. I feel like this card is going to go up in value as time goes on because he's just having a really good career to himself. Derek Jeter insert from 2008 Tops, And then here's a couple more inserts from 2008 Tops. Um, it's the Campaign 2008 insert. And it just features all like the, the candidates from the time. So like there's Mitt Romney, Hillary Clinton, all the people that campaigned, John McCain at the time. And um, obviously Barack Obama won the campaign. What I found was funny was that on Comp C, it lists this card as a rookie card, which I thought was kind of humorous because he's not a 
baseball player or anything, but uh, as well as Joe Biden, who's uh, the current president, as I'm feeling this, well, Obama's vice president. So these cards sell for a little bit. So I figured uh, they're not really a baseball cards, so it doesn't interest me too much. So I figured I'd get rid of them, uh, put a couple bucks towards my PC. Here's 2008 Heritage of Pujols. Uh, 2009 tops, Ken Griffey Jr. when he's on the White Sox. So he has one more base card in 2010, which is a really, really cool card. Um, but this one has a lot of his stats in the back, and he's in his White Sox uniform, so it's really weird. Daniel Murphy, rookie, 2009 tops. Got a couple, yeah, a lot of copies of those. I didn't realize I had that many. Derek Jeter, base card, 2009 tops. Daniel Murphy, once again, tops heritage rookie. Then lastly, you got a Nolan Ryan insert, Legends of the Game from Tops Update. So a lot of unique stuff. I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen many of these cards just because it was they were all made and produced during an era where card collecting wasn't really at its peak. People weren't really interested in cards at the time, um, whereas I was like just starting out card collecting. So a lot of these cards are from my original collecting uh, experience. So a lot of fun going through them. Hopefully, hopefully you guys did enjoy kind of seeing some of these cards too. Uh, I'm gonna be making one more video going through like all of my quote-unquote ultra modern cards from 2010 till 2021 we'll be going through all those cards like we just did for this set and showing you guys what cards i'll be selling on com c so uh please stay tuned for that hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did please like and subscribe for more to come and i will see you guys next time